All right, so what impact does the political show trial in New York have on America's judicial system? Let's step back a little bit here. And here to respond to that is Louisiana Senator John Kennedy. Senator, you've been a busy man. Uh, but sometimes when we're in the middle of something we know is a show trial or we know is, is, is playing to the electorate, it's meant to have a political effect, we're maybe missing the implications of this moment. How significant is this weaponization in the history of our judicial system and what course is this setting us on? In my opinion, Pete, President Biden, and the district attorney have run over America's political, or rather criminal justice system, backed up and run over it again. Uh, as one commentator put it, how can something so small, uh, allegedly falsifying business records, six years ago, result in something so big for the first time in America's history, the criminal prosecution of a former president of the United States. And I've concluded, I think most Americans have, that the answer is just craven, grotesque politics. No, no, no person in the Milky Way believes that these charges, falsifying business records, would have been brought against anyone on God's green earth except Donald Trump. Uh, President Biden and D.A. Bragg have made a conscious decision to bastardize America's criminal justice system and to prosecute President Biden's political opponent. I don't believe President Trump would be being prosecuted but for the fact he's running against President Biden. And as I've said before, this is the sort of thing that happens in, uh, in countries whose Powerball jackpot is 287 chickens and a goat. This is not supposed to happen in America. Now that they have done it, though, um, they, yeah. won't, they, they may be the first, but they won't be the last. They have summoned spirits they can't control. There are thousands of ambitious prosecutors out there across America, Democrats and Republicans, and their constituents now are going to expect them to prosecute uh, political opponents. President Biden, for his own politics, has placed the American criminal justice system ass deep in insanity. And uh, the, he, and, he and Mr. Bragg ought to hide their head in a bag. Uh, it's grotesque in my opinion. You're exactly right. Senator, they've started it. The, the question is, the next step, is, it, is there a possibility, and Trump has alluded to this, that you could actually course correct this judicial system at the federal and state level? Or have we entered, just entered a fight fire with fire uh, phase where, hey, you did it, now we're going to do it even stronger because we control the, the judiciary? Uh, or, or is the deep state going to steer that in your mind? Where does it go next? Where should it go? Well, well, President Biden and District Attorney Bragg have taken the unthinkable and turned it into the tolerable, and I fear that yep. it will eventually become the normal. And the attitude of many people will be, two wrongs don't make it right, but they do make it even. And that is dangerous. <laughs> for America's political uh, system and our criminal justice system. Uh, this is just unconscionable. President Biden, I was hoping he would govern with, with knowledge and wisdom. He has governed with, with appetite and ambition. And uh, his, his term has just been one long prayer. The, the, only, the only way, I'll just say this, Pete, the, the only way we're going yep. to find justice in America is in a voting booth. Amen to that. I think the, the, the largest jury of all the American people are going to have to put this back on course. You're right. It doesn't make it right, but it does make it even. And I know a lot of people who certainly feel that way. Uh, Senator Kennedy, thank you for your time tonight. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.